Well, I'm back. And to put it simply, I have no Wi-Fi, so I can't upload it. That's basically, I don't know what the frick happened if some dude, like, snipped the line. But it is getting close to 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, which is the time in which I upload a Rainbow Six Siege video every single day, trying to hit champion. The highest rank in that game, the highest rank to ever be created solo queue, alone, for the first time in my life. And because it's, you know, we're reaching 6 o'clock, I figured I'd make this video, just in case it does not come back on. I believe we are 250 ELO away right now from hitting champion so lucky insane to think of like sometimes i don't even i i don't i feel like i have like a like a disability or it's not a disability it's what what do you call it? it's like that thing where you you like you you don't you like don't even you're like scared of succeeding you know what i mean like i've been playing rainbow Six Siege for so long that I, like i've learned so many different things that i'm i like, I've, like hit a wall i don't I, what am i trying to say right now it's like subconsciously i am i'm just almost trying not to hit champion. Now I don't know how to explain it. It's like subconsciously, I feel like I don't deserve it. It's like, it's, it's imposter syndrome. That's what it is. It's like I don't even deserve it. But if I achieve it, that means that that is evidence that I do deserve, that, that I do deserve it. By hitting champion itself, that is evidence that I have achieved my goals. And if I've achieved my goals, then I deserve the achievement because I have worked for it. Is that sound, is that sound logic? I don't know. Sometimes I just have to talk to myself. I have to talk through that stuff, you know, like in my mind. Sometimes I talk to myself. I remember when I was in middle school, like that's kind of when it really started. Like I would just talk to myself, you know, like when I was walking on the sidewalk, like sometimes I'd be in the back of class, kind of, you know, talking. Like, I, I don't know. I, that sounds like I'm a crazy person though, or like I'm some like weird, like I wasn't a weirdo. You know, I had like friends in middle school. Like I got along with a lot of people. Like, I was kind of like popular in a way, but I wasn't like that popular. I just kind of like got along with the popular group a little bit. And I was also like kind of a nerd, you know, cause I played Rainbow Six Siege every day. That's cause that's when I started playing Rainbow Six Siege. That's off topic though. No, but then I I started thinking that I was going insane. I was like, holy frick, is it normal to talk to myself? But like, really, I think it is normal. You know, I'm just like kind of thinking through my thoughts. And sometimes I'll like envision scenario. What? Is that seed? What is I do that a lot when I'm going to sleep. I'll just imagine like there's a really attractive woman like right next to me and we're kind of like walking down a sidewalk and suddenly like this bad guy comes in with a mask and he like tries to kidnap her or like, you know, like rob someone across the street and I like freaking sprint across and save her life. And my girl's like, ah! Yeah, that's, I don't know. Sometimes I think about that. If you can't tell, I don't know what to do. I don't have Rainbow Six Siege to play and it's kind of freaking me out. This isn't, this isn't a Siege server issue, by the way. To be clear, this is like my own internet, you know? So just, yeah. Well, I guess I'll just keep sitting here waiting. Maybe it'll turn on.